We are now going to determine the best method to use to solve system equations, systems of equations. And so we're going to talk about some generalities. First, what we want to look at is, is a variable already solved for? In other words, do I have something like y equals 3x minus 5 already? If I do, then I'm already set up for substitution, so I might as well use it. Two, if a variable isn't already solved for, then is a variable easy to solve for? If it is, then for instance, if we have x minus, let's make that green, suppose I have x minus 3y equals 2. Notice it's real easy to solve for the x here. We just have to add the 3y over. Then we could use substitution. Finally, are the coefficients on the variables, on all variables, greater than 1. If, for instance, suppose we have 3x minus 2y equals 12 and 5x plus 4y equals 7. If we have a setup like this, notice there's no easy to solve for variable here. They're going to create fractions if we do it. And if that's the case, then you want to use the elimination method. If none of these conditions are true, then you can pick the one that you like. I tend to default to elimination as my default method. So let's just look at a couple of examples. Suppose we have x minus 2y equals 4 and 3x plus 4y equals 32. Because the x is by itself, with the 1 in front of it, this could be done using substitution. However, if you look closely at the y's, notice that the 4y is an easy multiple of negative 2y. All I need to do is double the negative 2, and I will have my y's already set up. So I could also use elimination. Either method will work, and because of this connection, I default to elimination. Suppose as another example, I have y equals 3x plus 5 and x minus 2y equals minus 5. In this case, our y is already solved for. This is an easy case for substitution. Just plug this in here and get to work. As a last example, 2x plus 5y equals 7. 3x minus 4y equals minus 1. Notice that there's no ones. There's no easy multiples. I would only use elimination on this one. That's it. Take, you just look at your problems, figure out what you know about them, see if some of the work's already been done for you, like it is up here, or see if there's an easy multiple to find like here, and then pick your method accordingly.